हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी बिगिन्स विद द एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ विजुअल एक्विटी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विजुअल एक्विटी व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय विजुअल एक्विटी इट इज द रिजोल्विंग पावर ऑफ आईज टू व्हाट द एक्सटेंड द आई कैन परसीव द डिटेल्स एंड कॉन्ट्यूर्स ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट विजुअल एक्विटी वी आर गोइंग टू चेक फॉर द फार विजन एंड फॉर द नियर विजन एंड द नेक्स्ट सेगमेंट इट इज ऑफ द कलर विजन so first we begins with the far vision far vision we are going to do with the help of uh, snail and start so this is the snail and start now what is the characteristic of the snail and start each lines of letters has a figure 60 36 24 18 12 9 and 6 so each line of the letter has a figure 60 36 24 18 12 9 and 6 all right normal individual can read each letter from required distance and whenever that person reading the same letter from the required distance it substance an angle of 5 minute to the nodal point of the eye so for example this is the 60 number so the person have to see or when the person seeing the 60 number letter from the 60 meter distance from this nail and start it subtend an angle of 5 minutes to the nodal point of the eye the width of the letter is 1 minute lines in the letter also separated by the 1 minute in a normal individual minimal separable distance correspond to a visual angle of the 1 minute so here the minimum separable distance it is the distance or the minimum distance between the two points which can perceive as a two so this is known as minimal separable distance and it is around 1 minute in a normal human being you have to tell your subject to stand 6 meters away from this nail and start and start telling your subject to read the letters while you have to point with the help of scale for example can you please read this letter the subject will say a can you please read the letter the subject will say d f so that is how you have to do this far vision test with the help of snail and chart and normal far vision is 6 by 6 that is the method of writing the far vision far vision 6 by 6 means from the 6 meter of a distance a normal person can see or read the 6 number line that is the last row so that is the normal far vision it is the 6 by 6 for example if subject is able to read 60 number letter this one first one far vision is 6 by 60 means normal person can read 60 number of letter from 60 meters but our subject is reading from 6 meters so that is the 6 by 60 vision or the far vision if your subject is only able to see or read this 60 number letter for example if subject is able to read the 18 number letter lastly if your subject is able to read the 18 number letter starting from this 60 number 36 number 24 number and last letter it will be the 18 so after the 18 the 12 number letter your person is not able to read so his or her vision will be 6 by 18 means normal person can read 18 number of letter from 18 meters but our subject is reading from the 6 meters or that is how you have to check the far vision and tell your result please remember do not try to divide these letters many of the students are going to divide and i don't know whatever they are doing but this is not the maths whatever the reading you must have to write in this format 6 by 60 6 by 18 6 by 12 6 by 9 6 by 6 etc so you have to take the reading with specs and without specs if the your subject or your student having these specs then they have to take six time far vision with specs and without specs right eye left eye and both the eyes all right and if 
your subject do not have the specs then without specs reading will be there and they have to take only three readings right eye left eye and both eye all right and normal far vision is six by six now if your subject is not able to see or read the largest letter on the snail lens chart that's a 60 number letter then tell your subject to move forward towards the snail lens chart around 1 meter so the distance between the subject and snail lens chart will be around 5 meters still if your subject is not able to see this largest number letter they have to move forward again of the 1 meter so the distance between the subject and snail lens chart will be 4 meters still your subject if he is not able to read the 60 number letter tell your subject to move forward for the 1 minute so the distance between the subject and snail lens chart will be 3 meters still if your patient or subject is not able to read this largest number you have to tell your subject to move forward for the 1 meter so the distance between the subject and your snail lens chart will be 2 meters now from this 2 meters if your subject is able to read this 36 number letter which is the last one your subject can see the A letter your subject can see D and F but your subject is not able to see the H, Z piece that means the last vision is 36 number so here you have to write 2 by 36 all right are you getting what i mean to say i hope everyone will get so if the distance between the subject is 5 meter so you have to write 5 by 36 if the distance between the subject and snail lens that will be 4 meters so you have to take the reading from the 4 meters so you have to write 4 by 36 if the last line will be the d and f last letter will be the d and f all right that is how you have to taste the far vision and if still subject is not able to see the largest letter on the this uh, snail lens chart then one meter around one meter tell your subject to stand or sit just in front of you at the distance of 1 meter and start doing the finger counting tell your subject please tell me how many fingers I am showing in front of your eyes still your person or subject if not able to count the fingers then you have to do the hand movements telling your subject that whether you pursue my hand movement or not if your subject still is not able to perceive the hand movements then perception of light rays you have to pass the light rays in the different direction for example superior inferior nasal and temporal telling subject from which directions light rays are entering inside your eyes and if your subject still is not able to perceive the light rays then refer to the ophthalmology department for the retinal examination or the examination of the retina now the near vision this is the Jaeger's chart which we are using for the near vision it contains the letters of various sizes based on the principles of printer's point style so this is the Jaeger's chart for the near vision how to take the near vision with the help of this Jaeger's chart Tell your subject to hold the Jaeger's chart at the same level as he or she is reading the newspaper. Almost the distance between the subject eye and this Jaeger's chart must be at the level of 25 to 30 cm, not more than that. Please keep in mind. And tell your subject to start reading from smallest letter towards the largest letter. From here it is the N5 n6 n8 n10 n12 n14 n18 n24 n36 n48 so normal near vision is n6 it is the here normal near vision is n6 but here one reading is also given n5 
when the person can able to read the n five number of lines that means he or she having the more than normal near vision the same thing you have to take if your subject having the spectacles then you have to take the with specs and without specs right eye left eye and both eye reading so there will be the six reading if your subject do not have specs then you have to take only three readings right eye left eye and with the help of both the eyes all right factors affecting visual acuity optical factors retinal factors size of the object and color of the object so these are the factors which affect the visual acuity of the far vision and near vision applied aspect of this visual acuity first of all emetropia it's a normal condition in which parallel rays of light coming from infinity or distant object are focused on the retina so this is the normal thing for example this is the retina and uh, parallel rays of light coming from distant object are focused on the retina all right how metropia means it's a refractive error in which parallel rays of light coming from infinity or distant object are focused either in front of the retina or behind the retina so all the refractive errors we are speaking these are known as ometropia now the myopia means short sightedness it's a type of refractive error in which parallel rays of light coming from infinity or from a distant object are focused in front of the retina so for example this is the retina and the parallel rays of light coming from infinity are focused in front of the retina so this is how it is going to be focused this is the retina and they are going to focus just in front of the retina so this type of refractive error is known as myopia person can see near objects clearly but cannot see distant objects and the correction will be the concave lenses concave lenses so here we have to correct this myopia with the help of this concave lenses concave lens it is the divergence lens so it is going to diverge the light rays so it is possible to focus this light rays over the retina so this is the myopia now the second it is the hypermetropia or long sightedness it is a type of refractive error in which parallel rays of light coming from infinity or from the distant object are focused behind the retina so this is retina and the parallel rays of light coming from infinity are focused behind the retina so this is how they are going to focus in the patients of hypermetropia all right actually they have to focus on the retina but due to some type of refractive error they are going to focus behind the retina so this is the focus point in the hypermetropia person can see the distant object clearly but cannot see the near objects correction convex lens so here we have to use the convex lens for the correction of this hypermetropia and these are known as convergence lens so they are going to converse the rays of light which are entering inside your eyes so that the parallel rays of light will be focused on the retina astigmatism it's a type of refractive error in which the parallel rays of light coming from infinity or distant object are focused on multiple points on the retina normally it is focus on a single point so for example this is the retina and parallel rays of light normally it is focus on a single point all right but in cases of astigmatism what will happen the parallel rays of light will going to focus on a multiple points so this is also the another point of the focusing of the light rays on the retina so that is the astigmatism correction cylindrical lenses press biopia it's a physiological insufficiency of accommodation which leads to failure of the near vision correction appropriate convex lenses so i hope by this presentation 
everyone understood about the visual acuity far vision and near vision and if you like this presentation please try to share with your friends